again everybody next day um, what is today like the ninth let me see no oh, today is March 10th March 10th and I am still running the I've already gone through all my 30 mesh I'm working on the 50 mesh now running it through the blue ball while I'm working but I've decided uh, that I'm gonna work some of J-Dub's pay dirt I'm gonna pan it first um, and as I said I've already got it all classified so I'll pan each one into a safety pan over here I still have to set up for that and then when I get done panning each mesh size I'll dump it back into its container and then well of course the the 20 plus and 30 mesh I can just pan but for the 50 mesh 50 minus 100 and 100 minus um, that fine stuff there I may just run through the blue bowl or I might pan it and save it and then run it through the blue bowl because I know I'm gonna miss some nobody can like pan and not miss some so that's probably what I'll do but I gotta get set up for that but first I want to share something with you so I'll be back in a second uh, this has to do with uh, the loss of Randy Hershey I did not know him well but many of you did and I want to speak to those of you who share the same faith that I do and those of you who don't and if I offend you well I can't be concerned about that because I am a Christian I'm a Christian first I'm you know that's that's who I am that's who I am and I'm not ashamed of it so I'll be back in a second all right so I call this so you know that I am not the word illiterate not by a long shot I got this King James Bible back in 2012 brand new it was given to me by another fellow Christian who happens to be my future mother-in-law it was her mother's Bible and she had it and it was one that she had set aside so she never really used it um, and it got left down to my future mother-in-law and then she then gave it to me and since 2012 2011 2012 I have pretty much destroyed this thing if you want to say that I call it my scotch tape version of the King James Bible. It is completely falling apart. It is taped together everywhere. Um, so I'm far from word illiterate. I have made many, many notes in here. Um, all in these pages. Notes and notes and notes and notes and then more notes and notes stuck inside and so on and so forth. But what I wanted to share with you, those of us who are Christians and those who did know Randy Hershey and are kind of grieving about this this is where we go when there's a death and we grieve it's in 1st Thessalonians chapter 4 and verses 14 16 and 17 and 18 for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again even so them also which sleep who have passed away in Jesus will God bring with him Verse 16, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And in the dead, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up. We're going to look at that caught up in a minute here. Together with them in the clouds. Now the clouds, a lot of people, even preachers say, Oh, it's the clouds in the sky. We're going to be caught up in the cloud. No, that's okay. When you go to heaven, you can read in here. Or I should say study, I don't like to use the word read, study or meditate on the word. We find that when we get there, we're going to be given white robes. So picture all of the people, all of the saints who have gone before us, who will come back with Christ in the air. That's the clouds. Okay. Meet them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. So caught up. Where's this caught up? We see that in 1 Corinthians chapter 50 or chapter 15. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. We shall not all die. But we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible, 
must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. You see, what you're looking at here, this body of mine, it's a disgusting, vile piece of garbage. Okay, that's what it is. I am a spirit with a soul who lives in a meat bag and it's filthy. Okay, this is just temporal where we live now. It's just temporal. Now, this right here proves also that there will be a rapture. Where do we see that? A lot of people say, well, you can't find the word rapture in the Bible. Hmm. Caught up. Caught up. And it's in here. Wasn't it in here or was it in? No, it was in. It was where we just read in 2 Thessalonians. Caught up. When you translate that word caught up, in the Koine Greek from the time, that's what the, the, the language was spoke during the time of Christ. Um, let me see, Second Timothy chapter 2 and verse 15. Study to show thyself approved, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. What does that dividing mean, rightly dividing? Translating, translating words. So from the Koine Greek, that word caught up is harpazo. Harpazo in the Greek. And what does harpazo mean? snatched away, um, violently taken out, like in an instant, just caught up. So rapture is in the Word. It is in the Word. A lot of people uh, say that it contradicts itself and so on and so forth. Okay, it's all in the context. It's all in the context. So what, uh, I mean, what drew me into the faith was well, first of all, I was born and raised in the Catholic Church, and as a child I sat there, a young child, looking at the back of the pew in front of me and seeing these hymnals and never seeing a Bible. The only person that had a Bible was the priest, and that always disturbed me, even as a child, and I always wondered why. It wasn't until I got older I decided to get out of there, and then, of course, I spent a lot of time destroying my life and doing stupid stuff. I mean, stupid stuff. Never really got in trouble with the law, thank God, but I made a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes. Um, hung around with the wrong people. But the seed was there. And then in, what was it, uh, 1992, or no, was it 92? Yeah, 1992, um, that seed became alive, and it was my deep, 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 deep desire to understand prophecy. That's what drew me in. That's what really drew me in. What caused me to become a Christian in 1995, the summer of 1995, I accepted the Lord as my Savior. And ever since then, I have been studying and meditating on this and doing it by way of looking at the Greek and the Hebrew translations to get a greater understanding. That's why this Bible is so destroyed. Um, of course, I didn't have this when I first started studying, but you can clearly see <laughs> that it's falling apart. So I'm not word illiterate by any means, but I just wanted to share that um, for those of you who, who are Christians, who are grieving Randy Hersey's loss. This is just a temporary time that we live in. Life is but a vapor. It's like you, uh, you start a barbecue grill, a gas barbecue grill. When you turn it on, for a moment there, you get a sniff of that, that propane fuel. But you notice how it's gone that quick? Well, that's what life is when you put it up next to eternity. So, I just wanted to share that with you. For those of you who have offended because of my beliefs and my faith, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is what it is. It's fact. And based upon my study in prophecy, there's no way that anybody can tell me that there is no God. You, you just can't do it. We're seeing prophecy unfold before our very eyes in the last six, seven, ten years at immense pace to the letter as it was written exactly. Let me ask you this for those of you who do not believe. If I were to say to you, I, I let me try to make something up here. If I were to look you in the eye and say to you that tomorrow something is going to happen and I and I detailed that some I mean detailed detailed that something out what were the, what would be the odds of that coming to pass what do you think the odds of the mathematical odds of that coming to pass 
the next day. Pretty slim. Pretty slim. Now, if you take and you look at the prophets, there's 16 books of the prophets. You have your pre-exilic, your exilic, and your post-exilic prophets. Tell me how it is that thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago, inspired by God, they can speak these words, which now are in the Word of God, and to the letter, word for word, those things have come to pass or are coming to pass now as they were written. How do you explain that? How do you explain that? The only way you can explain it is to say that God does exist, Jesus Christ does exist, and time is running out. Time is running out very rapidly based on my studies in prophecy. So um, we are that last generation. We are indeed that last generation. Um, when the Jews came back into the land, and especially when they retook in what was it, 1967, um, the Six Day War, when they retook when they retook Jerusalem, that was it. That generation, that generation, will be on this earth when Harpazo, when the rapture takes place, and I'm one of those people. My brother Chuck Jennels is one of those people. We're gonna be here, so. Unless something happens to us in, in the meantime, I mean, nobody knows when we're going to die. So I could die before the rapture takes place. But we're that generation, so tick-tock, time is running out. You need to decide. You need to get in here, and you need to start studying. Um, and the way to do it is with a interlinear Bible. You can find it online. You can use blueletterbible.org. That's one of the tools I use. And then I have um, four books that are as thick as this if not a little bit thicker but they're they're like this wide and this tall four of them that makes up the entire Bible the, the Old Testament and the New Testament that makes up the entire interlinear Bible and that's one of my study tools also the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance um, those are all the tools I use um, eSword that's on the internet I use that sometimes as well um, but 2 Timothy 2.15, study to show thyself approved, the workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. That's the key to understanding. So, catch y'all later. I'm going to run some, uh, some J-Dub pay dirt, see what we can come up with. All right. Get this thing set up and ready to go. I know one person that I didn't defend based on the, uh, the amen I got on BJ's video about Randy Hershey's passing. J-Dub himself, whose pay dirt I'm about to run. You know the word amen means agree, I agree. That's what that word means in the, in the Hebrew and the Greek, basically. So I appreciate that. James is a good guy, J-Dub7785. There's many of you who have uh, posted comments on my channel that shows me clearly that you're of the same belief and faith that I am. There's many of us out there, many of us. Um, I didn't, uh, I don't know if I showed this, but there's a bunch of bunch of stuff in here I think I showed already. I'm not sure if that's turquoise, James. It almost looks like turquoise. And some of these other ones, I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if that may be... Uh, I'm not sure what that is either. It's kind of goldish in color, but maybe you could help me out. Maybe it's a piece of silver. An old buffalo head nickel, or is it, yeah, it'd be a nickel. And I believe that's crystalline silver. There's some hunks of that in there as well. And then this uh, golden colored dime. Pretty cool. Thank you, James. Pretty cool, I must say so myself. Let me get this other pan. And I'm not going to bore you with panning this all on video. Because there's enough panning videos, as many of us say out there. So, I'll just pan it and show you what I get out of each mesh. This is the uh, 20 plus that I'm doing right now. 
So I'll just uh, shut this video off and show you what comes out of this mesh size. How's that? So I'll be back to you in a sec here. <laughs> wow, James. <laughs> There's 26, 20 plus pieces of gold in here. And that one right there, that's a picker. It's a small one, but it's a picker. It's nice and chunky. It's like a mini nugget. Bunch of pieces of that crystalline silver and the two coins, of course. Not sure what this is. Kind of a, I don't know, it's slightly goldish in color. And then, of course, this is the one that I was curious about. That's really heavy. Not sure what that is. You see part of the host rock still stuck to it right there. Might be a form of um, uh, I can't think of it right now. Whatever it is, it's very heavy though. Very cool. Thank you James. Now that's the 30 plus and all the extra stuff that came in the bag and there may be even smaller crystalline silver and the other stuff too so we'll see what we can find catching a bit I got the, <clears throat> the plus 30 done about 32 pieces in there sweet <laughs> nice this is a breath of fresh air James Y'all need to go check out JDub7785. Well, my lesson of the day. <laughs> uh, pouring out of a big pan like a Garrett Super Sluice into something like this, all the excess water with my um, jet dry in it. Uh, near paperwork was not exactly a smooth move, x -lax. But I was able to save it, so good enough. But just thought I'd share my lesson of the day with you. <laughs> Brilliant. I'll wait just a second here. It's snack time. Snack time, everyone. Snack time. Okay. That's better. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> the plus 20 and plus 30, I won't. I did set it aside. I mixed it all together. But what I'll do with that is when I go to the river, I'll bring it with me. Run it through the gold trap. Be done with it. Alright, that's the, uh, we'll say, tailings. After I pan the 50 mesh, I'm going to put that right back where I got it out of. In this 50 mesh, well, 50 plus bucket. And I will rerun that in the gold or the uh, the blue the blue bowl. And when I do that, I'll also run the plus 100 back there and the minus 100 to the blue bowl. And we'll pick it up at another time for that. But this is what I got out of that the 50 mesh. Ironically, plus 50 came with plus 50 pieces of plus 50 <laughs> so yeah you gotta check this out J-Dub's gold dirt out of J-Dub 7785 and in there on his videos he tells you how to get in touch with him to buy his gold dirt and um, it doesn't come with just gold there's like I showed you there's other stuff inside of it and I'll tell you, if you're a novice, you're going to have fun because uh, this is, <laughs> there was quite a bit of mica in there. And I remember when I first started, I was like, oh, is that gold? Is that gold? In this very pan, my Garrett Super Sluice, I had the bottom covered with stuff that I wasn't sure if it was, if it was gold or not. I had, to, I had to actually buy some pay dirt in the beginning to kind of really determine the difference between fool's gold and real gold so this was fun <clears throat> definitely a switch from building my gold traps I needed a little bit of time and break from that kind of rainy today so I couldn't go to the river and a little bit chillier 
I could have gone if it wasn't raining, but so I said, you know what, I'm going to stop building and I'm going to run some of J-Dub's pay dirt. He sent it to me quite a while ago and I figured it was about time that I give him due diligence and run some of it. So we ran the uh, plus 30 and the plus 50, well plus 20, plus 30 and plus 50 and ended up with, I don't know, all that plus this. So that's pretty cool. And I had fun. I definitely had fun. Thanks, James. So that's going to wrap this up. I've still got, uh, let's see, what time is it now? It is 5.38 and my phone was setting in water. Awesome. It's 5.38, so I'm going to get back to work, do a little bit more work before it's dinner time, and uh, try not to eat too many peanuts. He's here. It's not what it says is in here. I buy 30 pounds at a time. And this is barbecued flavored peanuts. Really good. Really good. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, like the video, check other videos out, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll catch you next time. And um, hope I touch some people today and maybe gave you a greater understanding of why I am who I am and why I do what I do and why I like to be as generous as I can be. That's just uh, just how it is. So, we'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.